Dear Diary, it's right now 12 and 9 p.m., which is gonna be 12 and 10 p.m. for a few seconds. It's uh, 20 degrees outside. Uh, <clears throat> my throat. And uh, I think, I think I would say that I am. Uh, my diseases have gone away, most of them. My dripping nose is gone. And I think my throat, my burning throat is gone. I still have a slight headache though. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. As you can see, I've been coughing out. My left ear still feel weird, but I guess it's not blocked. <clears throat> and um, I guess say uh, yesterday was decent, and I really hope that the next few days keeping on continue to be like that. There is a field trip tomorrow to that one same place that I've been into twice. But I don't think I'll ever go because of my paranoia. And that paranoia is just gonna is still justified as ever because I go on that field trip. The next day I'm gonna find myself getting fucked in the ass by by my goddamn by those goddamn people and who knows and who knows how hard and where am I gonna get fucked up at next not to mention the fact that at the day of that field trip I was being set up and I would like assume I would have assumed that I have already lost everything overnight you know and um, it's just it's just that hurting and that bullshit and I just cannot hold it in anymore like it's been I just cannot go there again maybe into an entirely different place would work Although, I don't want to go outside at all, you know, I don't want to go outside at all, I don't want to ever leave my bed at all. <sighs> and, and, of course, the goddamn flashbacks and memories continue to literally flood inside me whenever I'm trying to forget. They just keep coming back. Whether I'm trying to sleep or whether I am uh, awake right now, which is complete fucking bullshit. Really. Like, I'm supposed to be forgetting about that from very long ago. And um, I have been absent for like a whole week, but I literally. And those were supposed to make me forget, but I can't. Because. Um, it's just that hard to forget. And, um, I'm gonna be truly honest. Like, I'm gonna be truly honest. If literally that was a cost for having, like, fighting game and posting inside fighting game hentais, and I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. But, honestly, during those times alone, I've paid so much, way too much, and, um, and it's a price, it's a bunch of prices that I have never expected to be so really hard, and of course, not to mention, that um, I just cannot trust anyone. I'm sticking to my own small circle. Although, 
all of this because of me and my poor choices over the years. And of course my poor choices in ditching the ones that have been actually there for me and replacing them with those people. And I just feel so stupid. So stupid, mindless, and you could say everything that you ever want. Like, like I just feel so goddamn mindlessly stupid. Mm. And, um, really, like, if I literally haven't been there, or if I have been with those people, with the older people, before those, before those, like, long ago, I think, I think I would have been doing much, much, much better. Much better than what I already am these days. And who knows? I wouldn't have to literally be outcasted. And maybe I wouldn't have to be complete. I wouldn't have to be a fucking pedophile in like three or four other goddamn servers. <sighs> I might be backlashed and then and be already trash talked to this by now. I just know it. And honestly, I am not surprised. But what's just really surprising is that the amount of mindless replies and inhumane bullshits has just has just been completely engraved into my goddamn brain. Like I could, I could literally still remember most of these, like if it was been written to me yesterday. Breathe and go outside and bowl the goddamn caps. And all the goddamn memes and the other languages fucking trash talks. Like, I could still fucking remember them. Like if it was yesterday. Which is fucking hurting, you know? Like, I would literally forget. <laughs> like, my parents right now, they don't know about it. And I don't, I'm not letting them know about it in any shape. Because they'll be telling me, just get off that goddamn app. Get off it. Delete your goddamn account if there's an option to delete. Deactivate it. That's literally the only thing, which is supposedly true, but logically true. I should just delete my goddamn account and get the hell out of there. But there are some remaining people out there, and um, I just can't. Like, I just can't. I've been on that account for years. Not to mention that there are a few remaining people who are actually there for me. Therefore, I, it's impossible for me to just ditch those people. <sighs> Although, I have been sometimes just thinking of going back to Twitter and just put myself in into more danger and maybe actually get to know new people, new roleplay people. And one day I will be reuniting with most of the, with most of the older uh, roleplay people. But it's just gonna get that stupid. And one or two of them might be having a fucking Twitter, so they might just catch up to me over there, and they um, and they could just ruin me. <sighs> Really, so much to be role playing with. <clears throat> like really, so much for for having friends and role playing with some partners. So much for that. Really, so much for that. And I gotta hope that I'm. I gotta hope that nothing else, like that hopefully
hopefully this goddamn whole thing would just stop on that. So I can just finally move on with my life and forget and literally to uh, <clears throat> and to literally be able to just pass along and maybe one day I would be leaving with, a, with such a peaceful note. Maybe I could be taking a break for real. I don't know. Just I need to fucking piss off. Or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm overly confused. And it's expected. It's expected that I would be overly confused and frustrated. But if there's one thing that I'm 100% sure of, is that I just want to forget and move on. And, um, but I'm still sticking to my, to my current circle. No matter how small or big it is, I'm just going to stick to it. And if, uh, if there's any way I could just be able to connect to my, with my older people and everything, I would, um, I would absolutely love to. Like all the older people that I used to be with, I would love to connect with them again. Instead of, instead of just going into new circles, completely new circles, and knowing new, entirely new people. Like, let's just go back to our old people. Also, I, uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure if uh, those old people are still the old people that I know. And maybe, maybe they have truly changed. But maybe they have truly changed. And I maybe have lost them. You know, lost them for good. And of course, time is going to tell me about it. Like, only time will tell everything. Just... Uh, just gotta hope... That they're still alive and well. I mean, they might, they are still alive and well, and well, but hopefully, they are truly still my friends. Although I kind of, I kind of doubt it, but I guess there is um, nothing else to hope for, or nothing, nothing else to go back into. Or maybe I have truly lost those people. Oh well. Should have known better. Should have known better than to ditch those old people and the places we used to be with together. And should have also known better than to replace them with such mindless people that literally know absolutely zero thing about humanity or decency. Or even friendship. <clears throat> I bet they are. I bet they have been losing more friends and literally gaining them, or perhaps they have just manipulated the people they literally interact with into literally believing them. But then again, what can you tell? This is um. This is exactly how it how it is nowadays. Aside of that, I might be going back into playing some more Fire Emblem games. And maybe just listening to most of the OSTs. I have to listen to a very shit ton of my fighting game OSTs and most of the fighting games that I usually play. Especially Tekken 5. Like, I completely deleted Tekken 5 from my phone and my laptop. And I know, as much as I know that it's too much, but those people had fighting games all over them. And I would rather just stay away from those things until at least I get Street Fighter 6 whenever it releases. And just, uh, <clears throat> and just, you know, completely have a better time. A way better time than just 
playing that kind of game, playing the older game set, that you would have a very much better sweet memory, which is honestly not the thing that I really want. In fact, I could be crying in the middle of playing those. Like so much good nostalgia and good memories have been reduced to dust because of that. So, in other words, you get into a community that's been, that's about your favorite things, and perhaps you're, like most of those communities, they do sound very decent, but they just, they just have a very dark inner core that literally makes you so goddamn disgusted. While some other places of stuff that you don't usually like, they just seem to be way more fucking better than the, than the people with the stuff that you like. Like, like I could be in a Fortnite community place, and I would still fucking hate it, honestly. But then I would be in an, in an entirely different anime place, and I'll be having fun. I'll be in, I don't know, I'll be in a Roblox place, and I'll be having so much fun while losing a lot of my goddamn brain cells. Or, I would be in a Cartoon Network place, and I'll be literally, literally having so much fun than I already do on websites that have hentai or anime or any of that stuff. I'll be in the Star Wars community, and I'll be, I guess, having fun. But in the end, but in the end, whenever you share your your favorite things, talk about them, any of this, you just you just feel like that you have lost your your stuff. Because whenever they are shared out there. They are no longer your favorite things that you have ever grew up with and had your childhood with and everything. It becomes theirs and they use it against you. And because of that, as a result, you literally hate it forever. And you don't want to get nearby it at all. It's like the game or the show has betrayed you. Along with the people, of course. I know, I know it kind of doesn't sound like it has any sense at all, but I think it does. Just say whatever you want, but this makes sense to me. Because cause nothing in this world now makes sense. Like there are some goddamn economical crisis and some preparations for a third world war, maybe. And a lot of goddamn people are dying from pretty much all types of types of things. I've been getting some goddamn shitty diseases. Um, no one is living in harmony anymore, and um, everyone is just turning into a fucking double-faced dick. And I may have been just, and I may have been just a double-faced dick like every single one of them. I may be just a, a whole walking contradiction over the years. Especially when I have said that I wouldn't ditch any of them. They are my friends, ditch all of my old friends. They are my friends, I love them, I appreciate everything they do. Just in the end, to literally ditch them, as if literally there was no goddamn trace or anything. They might be hating me to hell right now. And I've had the best memories with them. They were the ones that truly loved me for me. Uh, I guess this is... I guess I will never get them back at this point. And hopefully that changes. Alright.
that's enough for me, and I hope uh, that <clears throat> that something important is learned out of this. Well, it might have been already learned in a few more diaries, but I don't think it can get any more clear or bullshit than that. <sighs> Until then, who knows? <clears throat> who knows? Some things are just more fun than the others. I don't know, but nothing makes sense. <sighs> See you all later.